Hello and welcome to Wargames Guru and this unboxing. Um, I'm going to be unboxing a Lord of the Rings figure from uh, Forge World. Uh, remember when you buy this stuff, make sure it's got the Forge World mark on it. Uh, this is Elfhelm, he's a Rohan captain for the strategy battle game. Um, absolutely superb um, looking figure online anyway. Uh, it costs £25. Now £25 for a mounted figure and a foot figure may seem a little bit much but he is a hero. Uh, you don't have many of these in your army so it's something uh, you may consider getting but I wanted something that was a little bit different. He's obviously one of the foremost captains of Rohan. Uh, he fought alongside Theodred at the Fords of Isen and later led a company of Rohirrim in a charge that broke the lines of Mordor in the Battle of Pelnor Fields. Elfhelm is a talented horseman and renowned for his skill with a throwing spear. As a hero of fortitude, Elfhelm can lead a warband of 12 followers and can hurl throwing spears to strike down foes with pinpoint accuracy. Uh, so yeah, this basically is um, Elfhelm and he's a great figure. The only criticism I've got straight away is that his rules uh, are only in the Gondor at War expansion for the Middle Earth Strategy Battle game which is a pain in the rear. Uh, the reason I say that is because the one thing that does irk me about the strategy battle game is the fact that you've got several sets of rules to buy, um, which, you know, at the outset is, is quite annoying. Um, you know, you're not just gonna grab this game and one book and off you go. You're gonna need several sets of rules, which is a real pain. So, his rules are in the uh, Battle for Gondor expansion. I've already bought the uh, the, the actual rule book, and then I've gone and had to buy the Armies of Lord of the Rings book. And if I want to do the Goblin, I buy, buy the Hobbit book. I mean, you're talking hundreds over 100 pounds in, in rules, which I think is a little bit naughty. But having said that, the Lord of the Rings strategy battle game has become a cult game, so you know, you, you, you get what you pay for, I suppose. So, all that aside, all you've got to do. Google him and you will get all his stats from nice people online that post his stats so you haven't got to get the uh, Gondor book just yet. Although the Gondor book is lovely, I will be getting it and I'll do a review of that as well. So this is Elfheim. So um, you will get offered these figures on eBay and other places. They will not be in packaging like this. They will be from recasters who basically get this figure and then recast it rather silly, uh, stupidly in um, a putty material and then mould them in lead. So if you see him available in lead, he's a fake. Uh, in fact, if you see him available anywhere except for Forge World, um, or by a proper wargamer from eBay, um, you know, who says that it is a, a Forge World figure, then do not buy it. So, what have we got inside the box? I will take my trusty knife. Uh, don't try this at home, kids, and all that stuff. So there we go, so let's open it up and have a look. Now, I'm not, a, well, I was never a great fan of um, the figures made from fine cast, etc., but they have improved massively. So, the little instruction leaflet there on how to put them together um, the foot figure and the mounted figure, which is useful because he does come with a few parts that could be a little bit uh, confusing. A little components list, list there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's, it's actually written in. Uh, in minuscule writing, so somebody like me who's got uh, rubbish eyes would need to put on some glasses. But um, it's nice and straightforward and simple looking anyway. And then the box itself, so what have we got? Let's have a look. So, tipping out the contents, making sure I've left nothing, nothing behind, little golden nuggets in there. Okay, so we have the standard cavalry base and the standard foot base. Be careful when you open these sort of things because this stuff is quite uh, fragile. It's not com completely fragile, but it, it can be a little bit um, a little bit fragile. But the detail now on these types, types of models is, is absolutely stunning, as you can see there. Um, and they're all straight as well. One thing that worried me is on, on the picture of Elfheim, which I think is a bit of a, that's a better one. The one online, if you look, his spear's all bent, so, but no, that's good. That's good. So there's two lances, obviously one spears, one for foot and one for mounted. And it looks like a shield with a cloak for the foot figure. A round base, that must be for, oh it's terrain, that's to go, oh I see, oh, that's pretty good. So what they've actually done is they've given you 
and pick it up. A scenery base to stand to stand him on. How cool is that? Brilliant. So that's nice. And they've got one for the horse as well. Look at that. I, obviously, I just thought that uh, the base would be plain. You do your own bases, but that's cracking. That is really good. Okay, so there's the two bits there for that. And then moving on, we have the heads. Now, I was worried about the heads because, again, the pictures don't really do them justice, but if I can hold that up for the camera, if I can focus on there. See there, there's a lot of detail there in that figure, you know. And if you're not a great painter, the use of normal paints and washes is really going to bring out the detail out on this. So that's cracking detail so far, so good. So where's all the fail cast problems that people keep telling me about? The fact that they don't like resin models. Well, I've got to tell you, there's none that I can see here. Bit of a bendy sword, as you can see, but it's not snapping. So just take care with it. But the detail some of this model is excellent absolutely superb yeah that's really nice so far so good um, there's the torso of the foot figure I see that he's actually standing like that that's why you that's why give you the base no doubt you can see the detail there is absolutely excellent I mean, this is something that Forge World does so well. Their detail on this, some of their models is incredible. And remember, I'm not sponsored. I don't do any reviews um, uh, for people because they give me money or anything like that. I'm far too poor for that. I'm unpopular, in my opinion. So what you get from me is an absolutely honest review. Now, horses, I do love painting horses. And this horse looks like it's got fantastic detail on the leggings. On the legs. Leggings? <laughs> On the legs, it looks like it's going to fit together really nice. And when I fit the model together, I'll update it with a video on how to paint it, etc. Build it. This is just an unboxing video, but there's a lot of little bits to put together. And there's the main detail of the horse. So all those bits fit in there. I mean, the face on the horse is cracking. Look at that. Look at that cracking detail there so that's Elfheim Elfhelm sorry bit of a strange name for a rogue hear him hero but there you go that's uh, that was his name Elfhelm so what do I think of it well I've got to be honest the detail I think is absolutely stunning the parts you get are excellent and you're gonna make a very unique character that nobody else has got uh, readily available, you know, the, the, unless they unless they buy it from Forge World, so it's going to be something different on the table. For Twenty-five pounds. I'm actually okay with that. Uh, this is a great figure, uh, so for twenty-five pounds, I'm okay with that as well. I mean, this is Forge World, you know. This isn't, you know, this isn't uh, a standard figure. This is a Forge World figure. The great thing about these figures, you know, you, you get fed up with it, you don't like the system, you sell it, you get more for it. Suddenly, it's second hand, funny enough. So that's the contents of the box. That's what you get when you get Elf Helm and you spend your 25 pounds. And in the next video, I will build and paint this chap and, um, and I'll hopefully do a battle video of him in combat as well. So thanks for watching. This is Wargames Guru signing out.